for the last week, I have been dealing with an issue that has caused me to lose sleep, feel like I was in danger, and honestly the most stress and anxiety I've had in my whole entire life. As a YouTuber, I understand that I have to put my life out there, um, a lot of personal information, like where I live. For the most part, it hasn't been a serious issue. But two days ago, I was awoken by my girlfriend around 6 a.m., found a note that had been slipped under our door by a neighbor. This note right here, is the reason that I was able to catch the person who was trying to break into my home where I sleep, where my girlfriend lives. I hope you guys are ready for the story. It is a crazy one. Let's get on with the video. I'm gonna start off with the note, okay? Because that's what led me to really catch this person. There's a lot of moving parts to this whole story. So you guys gotta really pay attention to everything that's been happening. My girlfriend wakes up at 5 a.m. every morning and gets ready to go to work. As soon as she was about to leave the house, she saw a note underneath the door. The note says, hey, this is your neighbor. I just wanna let you know that my husband has seen the same individual outside your door for the third time now. Once last Thursday at around 8 o'clock p.m. taking a photo of your apartment number and once again the next day standing outside with a friend. Third time he tried opening your door. Not sure if you know these people or if they're your friends, but if you would like more info, feel free to call me at blank. Thanks, blank. Normally I would be very surprised at this, but this activity was not surprising at all because of what's been happening the past week. So let's start off with last Wednesday. Started off as a normal day. My girlfriend came home from work. She was changing in the room and I heard a huge loud banging on the door like five times. And then we literally heard running down the hallway. Leslie was super scared. I ran to the door. I opened it to try to catch who did it. I peek outside and I see nobody, obviously. So what I did was I shut the door behind me, but I remained outside with hopes that whoever did it would hear me close the door and then come out. And surprisingly enough, two men walk out from the staircase, look right at me, and then just start casually walking as if nothing happened, as if they were just hanging out. But I personally knew that these were the people that knocked on my door. So I stopped one of them. I told him, hey, did you knock on my door? He said, what? And he walked up super close to me like this. Now, this day and age, I have no idea what people's intentions are, what his fight or flight instinct is like. So I'm automatically assuming that something's about to go down. So I said to him, again, I said, did you knock on my door? He said, no, I didn't knock on your door. Pointed to my doorbell, which is also a camera. I had not checked it at that moment. But these two people seem like the type that would ding dong did. Because of the way they came out of the staircase, they were laughing, then right when they saw me, their face just got straight. So I already knew. I pointed at my doorbell and I said that it was a camera and that I caught him. Instantly, his face changed from confused straight to, he literally did this, I'm not even joking. He went, <laughs> like the most nervous laugh. And he said, I'm sorry. And I said, don't ever do that again. You don't know what could have happened. Um, if I was someone else, they might not have taken it so lightly. And he said, I'm sorry, I won't ever do it again. Him and his friend walked away and they left. Now that was last Wednesday. If we go back to the note that I got, it says that one particular individual was standing outside my door on Tuesday. But at the time, I had no idea about this. All I knew was that there was a ding dong ditch. Just an innocent joke. I did not call no cops. I did not notify nobody. I was just like, hey, they're just some people trying to have fun, make a joke, whatever, it's funny. Just don't do it again. Now, fast forward to the next day, Thursday. It is around 11 o'clock p.m. I'm playing video games on my computer and I hear somebody screaming from my balcony my first and last name. Multiple people, teenagers laughing, joking around, screaming my first and last name. Obviously, I didn't pay no mind to it. Again, just thought it was a joke. Now you guys know the backstory. So let's get into the very, very, very interesting next few days. Let's go. So Leslie woke up this morning um, and she showed me a letter that we got from the neighbor. So we are gonna call and get some more information. We're gonna try to catch this guy because it seems like he is uh, coming to my apartment and trying to get in. Hello? Yes. Hi, is this? No, that's my wife. Oh, uh, this is Anthony. I'm your guys' neighbor. I think your wife slipped a note under our door. Yeah, I told her to leave a note so you can give us a call. Okay, so you guys said you saw someone outside of our apartment? For the past, like, two days, I've been 
these people have been just staking out your apartment, just like looking at your apartment. I usually work night shifts, and one of the days I came by, somebody was there taking pictures of the apart of your apartment number. Yeah, they said. Uh, I think your wife said that they were taking a picture of my apartment number, and then it also says that they tried to open my door. Yeah, one of the days there was somebody there wearing a mask, wearing all black. They tried to open the door, and then I think they heard something and ran away. I caught it on my uh, like video doorbell camera. Okay, and do you would would you be able to send that footage? Yeah, of course. I mean, you can meet me um, maybe like later today, and I can meet you. Okay. And, the footage. and then you didn't see any faces. I didn't see any faces. And they were wearing a mask. And it was my apartment for sure. For sure, it was your apartment when they were taking pictures of your apartment. Was there more than one at one point? Because here it says they were standing outside with a foot. Well, yeah, some of them. Is so there was more than one. One of them was shorter, one of them was taller. Okay. But the taller one was there a couple times, the shorter one I only saw him once. Okay, what was your name? Um, I'm gonna give you a phone call if that's okay later today, and then if you could um, just have someone text me the footage. Yeah, yeah, you can text me the footage. I'll be home in a couple hours. You can meet me at my apartment too. I can give it to you. Okay, that would be perfect. Okay, have a good one. Leslie, what the f That's so creepy. We're gonna figure it out. Alright guys, so we literally just got video footage of this mother walking in front of my neighbor's apartment right towards my apartment. Like my heart is racing right now. To, to everyone asking me why we're not just calling the cops, um, it's because uh, if you guys don't know, we actually dealt with a very similar situation about a year ago when we had our group house. And uh, actually that situation was way worse, way, way crazier. And the cops didn't do nothing. Um, they pretty much just told us that if there's no face, there's no case. So there's n just no way for the cops to find out who this guy is. But uh, me personally, I'm not gonna let this go. And I am actually gonna try to find out who this guy is because I'm sick and tired of having people come to my home where I sleep and think that it's okay to try to open my door that just does not sit right with me so i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna make sure that we get this all figured out um i have some ideas realistically we're gonna catch him i mean if he did it three days in a row yeah he's outside my house three days in a row and it's not even at like 3 a.m he said 8 p.m 9 p.m so but the thing that these degenerates did not realize is that they were dealing with a true menace i'm sick and tired of people disturbing the peace of content creators so i made it my main goal to try to catch this guy i knew exactly what i had to do what i'm going to be doing uh which none of you at home should try this obviously ever i'm going to be inviting some of my friends to come to my house and spend the night leslie is going to her mom's house where she talked about this and uh we are going to leave my door unlocked. We're going to leave my, my apartment door unlocked and we're going to be in the living room for the majority of the night. And we're just going to see what happens. So, yep. Now that I had what seemed to be the perfect plan, I had a few things on my checklist. I installed some cameras, made a few phone calls to my apartment complex to notify them of the situation and to let me know if they heard anything. I made sure my girlfriend was in a safe location. Uh, she actually really wanted to stay, but I told her that she had to go because uh, we just don't know what's gonna happen tonight. Hopefully something does happen and we get to the bottom of this. Guys, I'm trying to make him come with me, but men are weird. We should, that's why we have security and cops. They won't do anything. Love you, baby. Safe travels and proceeded to ask around to see if any of the other neighbors have heard of this guy. I'm your neighbor, but no one's tried to like open your like uh, house door or anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just be on the lookout because like there's something in the middle of right there. Fellas, we are creeping up on nighttime. All right, guys. The goons are about to be here. Um, I'm not gonna record them because they don't want to be on camera. But that's fine with me. Unless something happens, you already know this camera's about to be rolling. Honestly, if we catch something today, it's gonna be f***ing crazy. Like, if anyone walks through that door, bad news. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, it is currently 9 a.m. The boys are gone, and nothing happened last night, luckily. So, uh... 
This doesn't really change anything, obviously. There could still be somebody out there trying to get into my door. Um, Leslie's at work right now, but she's going to come back home today and um, hopefully nothing happens. Night two went a little bit differently. I walked around my apartment complex to see if I could see any suspicious activity with hopes of catching this guy. All right guys, currently walking around my complex right now just to see if I could see anything weird. It is 8.21 right now, not too late, but just trying to see if I could find literally anything suspicious, like any groups of people hanging around. Play I don't get jump. It is morning three, Leslie's at work. I think that probably word went around that people are watching for him. Um, we've notified all the neighbors to watch out for this guy. We notified the front office, obviously, um, so, yep. Around day five, I started to lose hope that this guy would ever come back and nothing happened the upcoming nights. That was until two nights ago when I was awoken by this notification from my doorbell camera. I do not advise anyone do what I did in this scenario as you don't know if the person has a weapon or he has malicious intent. Just call the cops. Hey, don't, don't come, don't come. Here, stay there. Hey, hey, bro, I know you were trying to, I know you were trying to come to my house, bro. What do you want to do with my house, bro? I know you, no, 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 I know you were trying to come to my house, bro. Take your mask off. Hey, take your mask off. Ta look at me. Take your mask off, bro. No, 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 bro. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Bro, 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 you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You trying to come to my house, bro? What are you trying to do? You trying to rob me? You trying to hurt me or my girlfriend? What the did I do to you, bro? You and your friends keep coming to my house. Hey, take your mask off, bro. I'm not even playing, bro. Take that shit off. Bro, take that off right now. What the, who the are you? Why are you trying to come to my house? What's your name? You want me to come to your house? Bro, why the fuck are you coming to my house, bro? I swear to God, bro, I have you on camera. All my neighbors have you on camera. We all looking for you, bro. If one fucking thing is missing in my house, I swear to God, I'm going to put this camera on every social media. I swear to God, you touch my fucking handle, bro. I have your face. If anything happens to my fucking house, if anything happens to my car, bro, don't come nowhere near this apartment complex ever. Don't ever let me see you on this apartment complex. Get the out bro get the out have your face tell your friends too to leave my house leave my house honestly an insane turn of events i never in my life thought i would ever be in a situation like this in my whole entire life um but it did happen and i'm grateful that i'm safe i'm okay i advise against walking up to any of these people or doing what i did no one should ever do what i did it was very stupid i didn't know if this guy had malicious intent or if he wanted to hurt me or if he had a weapon or anything like that don't ever do what i did um but i it was something i had to get off my chest i just had to find out who it was i had to get a picture of his face so i could make sure that i could live safely and finally get some sleep but um this was honestly just one of the craziest videos i've ever uploaded on youtube and i just want to say thank you guys if you did watch through the whole thing i don't even know what else to say man like this is literally just insane but uh shimmer the vermin for neighborhood watch man hey peace